Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, yesterday it was really rainy and um, it got pretty cool. Um, today it's overcast and we've had a few sprinkles of rain and um, it's a bit on the cool side. I think my truck said it was 45 degrees out. Um, but I don't think it's going to slow the garden down much because I found a few surprises when I was out feeding the chickens this morning. So, um, if you give me just a minute, we'll go out and we'll see what we've got cool going on in the garden today. So, hold on. Okay, I'm over here at this garden bed and um, give you some perspective. Here's the garlic. And... Um, you might remember that we had my favorite um, cherry tomato plants in here last year. I kept calling them jugs. But I found something this morning. Those are the very first few of the little volunteer chubs tomato plants. And oh, there's, there's two more. There are a few of them in here. They're really just starting to come up. But it rained yesterday. And it's been really overcast and kind of cold today. A little tiny bit of rain, but... There's a few. And they're only just getting started. But... There's our little teeny tiny little tiny baby tomatoes. But i got a few other things to go look at, so hang on. Okay, I'm back over here at the broccoli bed. And it looks like somebody might have ate that one. But I did get another pack of um, <clears throat> broccoli plants while I was in town this morning. So um, I can replace that one pretty easy. And this is the second bed. And everybody in here looks pretty good. But I will definitely have to at least replace that one over there. And then we might actually end up with a couple of extra bro broccoli plants just in case. But I do have some empty pots hanging around here. But for the most part, everybody looks pretty happy. And um, I still have a couple other things I want to show you, so stick around. Okay, that is all the happy peas. You can see how big they're getting. I'll get down here real close. But they came up really, really fast. And they've already got lots of leaves on them. And um, I don't think that a single pea didn't sprout. Now, we do have a late bloomer over here, but I think everybody sprouted. And we've got one more bed over here. And I think the same is pretty much true over here. I think everybody came up. And um, they're definitely getting these good little leaves. And he's already getting some little runners going out. So, yeah, there's a few of them in there that already have their little runners. Okay, and um, we'll go find something else. Hold on just a minute. Okay. Let me give you a perspective. We're in the, the corner bag over here, and... There's the broccoli, but I wanted to show you these, sorry my finger's in the way, these little red things right here, if I can get down there good enough, those are little beet sprouts, and they're all over the place. A couple more right there. The first thing they put up are little red tops, and they are all over the place. I can show you a few more. But they are really starting to sprout. 
and it's not going to take but another day or two and you'll be able to tell they're in here without having to get down there and look at them but really happy because I think the beaks are one of my absolute favorites okay we're going to take a little quick stop over here and check in on the cabbages and the volunteer onions and uh, they look like they're doing really really good you can see they've got plenty of new growth on them and it has been a little bit cooler yesterday and today and I think it's supposed to be for um, a couple more days but the cabbages and the broccoli don't mind a little bit of a cooler temperature but they all look to be really happy and um, got a few weeds in the bed but that's just part of gardening probably come out tomorrow and just make sure that I get all the little weeds out before they really cause any trouble but the cabbages are happy okay I'm over here by the carrot beds and um, as you can see there's newspaper all over the place and um, the plan actually was to take the paper off this morning but apparently the wind kicked up overnight and did it for me. But there really isn't anything to show on the carrots yet. But we have had the newspaper on there for four or five days. And there's the other bed. But it will be a little while yet before we see very much activity in them. Hopefully not too long. But... I've got to get this newspaper picked up because I certainly don't want to leave it out laying everywhere. But kind of got a little help in the taking the newspaper off though. So I won't have to do that part, but I do have to clean up the mess. So let's find something else. Okay, the asparagus is doing very well. And um, if you can't tell, there's a few of them that are a little bit too tall because... I didn't come out yesterday to cut them, but there are some really good sized stalks in here. Let's see how big they are, but they're doing really well and I do need to get some more dirt in here and um, definitely need to cut them because I didn't get it done yesterday, but in my defense it was raining. So Anyway, I'll get some fresh asparagus today. Okay, I thought I'd just stop over here and see how the strawberries were doing. And they've definitely got more blooms on them. So we'll have strawberries, nice fresh strawberries, really soon. But they've got lots of good new growth on them and they've got lots of little blooms. So we should have fresh strawberries in no time. Okay, so the cooler temps didn't slow the garden down much. And uh, I was really tickled this morning to see all the all the little sprouts. I've been, you know, really excited to see if the, the little volunteer tomatoes would come up. And um, they did. Um, not terribly many of them yet, but, but they're, they're starting. And... Um, Peas just grow so fast. They're they're a whole lot of fun to plant. And um, I was actually a little bit surprised that the beets were up so soon. But um, the carrots are going to take, you know, a few more days. And um, I'll keep an eye on them because I love to I love to watch them grow. When they come up, they, they put up those little fuzzy things. And I think they look really neat. But enough about that. Um... It's, it's just, I don't know, it was a long wet winter and to finally see some green and everything in the garden is uh, about all my poor little heart can take right now. And I just really enjoy it so much. But I'm really glad that, that you took some time to spend with me today. Um, it's always wonderful to go walk in the garden. Um, 
Probably won't get a whole lot of work done out there today, but it's, it's still pretty chilly. Um, I had to put on Mark's big coat to, to go out and walk around, but anyway, quit talking your ear off. Um, I hope that this video finds you healthy and um, happy and safe, and I know the world's getting a bit crazy right now, but um, I am glad that you took a few minutes to spend with me today, and um, if you haven't entered our giveaway yet, please, please, please go enter. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to ring that little bell. Um, it'll let you know when we put out new videos. And um, if you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And leave any comments or questions or anything that you have on your mind in the little box below. Um, we do our best to get to all of them. And I, I'm going to go curl up in the chair with with a hot cup of cocoa or something for a little while, but, um, I, I hope that everybody continues to be safe and happy, and, um, I won't keep you any longer, I promise, but love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.